I'm going to give you a little tour of this place, Moncton Nature Reserve. So due to the coronavirus outbreak, the reserve is closed at the moment, but I'm here because I'm working here. And the reserve have asked me to do a little guided tour for people that are unable to get here at the moment. And it's very strange being the only person here. And one of the best things you can do for nature is to get humans out of the way. So right now, nature's loving it down here. So at the top is where you park, and then you walk down this lovely hill towards the field center. It's all signposted. And then just as you approach the field centre, you're teased with a little glimpse of a pond and this pond is closed. It's normally for educational purposes. They open it on occasions for pond dipping and stuff. So we'll have a look in here first because this is the first thing you come to. This is known as the damselfly pond. And it's awesome. They have pond dipping days when you can come here with the kids and get a little net and some of the knowledgeable staff will tell you what, they've, what you've found. And I've seen, I've seen grass snakes in here and I actually spotted a frog in here once which was a really rare thing for the reserve because this reserve has grass snakes and they eat the frogs. The water in the damselfly pond is quite shallow at the moment. We've had the driest May on record this year and we've had a bit of rain but it's not really enough. And you can see where nature's taking over because no one's here. Look at this bramble growing across. So, damselfly pond. Okay then, let's set a few things straight before we head out onto the main reserve. Here at the till we pay, you can get these things for the kids. Dinosaur trails, fairy woodland trails, nature bingo. Great things to do with the kids. And when I say to come here, with, especially with kids, because it is honestly brilliant for kids and adults, is just take the kids on an adventure. Don't go, let's gonna go and find a grass snake because nature's quite hard to find and the kids might lose interest. Let's go on an adventure around Moncton Nature Reserve and if we see some wildlife, well, that's a real bonus. Here's the um, membership and entrance fees. I just get a membership, 25 pound a year for the family. It's, it's peanuts. And these, uh, kids love these little adventure packs you can hire out. In there they get a little animal masks and binoculars, a magnifying glass, they're brilliant. Here's a window where we can view watching the birds feed in. And look how lovely and overgrown it is out there at the moment. And here we have the library. This is a new addition in the last couple of years. This is the CAF. You've got a seating area with a CAF. They serve um, snacks and hot drinks and cold drinks. But this is a great place to come for your kid's birthday. I mean, the kids will absolutely love it. And just outside this CAF is the main part of the reserve. My favourite place to head to first is the pond, the dragonfly pond. It's massive. Let's have a look. And here is the pond. It's brilliant. So I always think if you first get here, talk the kids through how their binoculars and how everything works. Spend a bit of time here. Just sit and wait. More hens will come out. There's a few coot about. And I've actually been lucky enough to help film grass snake in here for Spring Watch and Country File and me talking to the camera, I'm not going to see much because I'm being noisy. This particular pond here was, the chalk was, oh there goes a moorhen over there, right there. Oh, and I heard a buzzard. You hear that buzzard flying overhead? There's been a few of them. Um, this, this pond was dug out in order to help build the newly built Richmond Power Station. Let's go through these bushes. I love how overgrown it is here because it's been getting pretty wild with the lack of people being here. Now, I, I always think it's great if you give the map straight to the kids because if you get lost, that's even better. And the kids will love it. Over here, we've got the bat cave. Now, personally, I've been on a few bat nights here and I've not seen any bats coming out of this cave, but there are bats around. And I believe this bat cave here was one of the first bat caves specially built in England. But you know what kids look for in there? Batman. You'll notice a lot of these little fairy houses along, along your route and the kids can, can check them off. And the kids love a fairy house and there's a few dotted about. So keep an eye out for them. 
We've got these things here for kids to do rubbings. So if they've got some paper and crayons, they can do a nice rubbing. And here by the dragonfly pond, we've got a dragonfly. And I've just found something quite exciting here. This is the leftovers of a rabbit. There is a rabbit's foot there. And I don't know how this rabbit died. There's not much left of it, but the buzzards are probably interested in this. And you get the odd fox down here as well. Don't be scared to pick something dead up. Just wash your hands after. So I've climbed up to the top now and down there, down there is the pond. Because it's summer, everything's so green, so overgrown. But that was, that was filled up with water absolutely massively. And there's some pictures on Moncton's uh, Nature Reserve's Facebook page of the difference of differences in that pond throughout the seasons, it really changes. The observatories, check these out. They do some brilliant stargazing nights here. You must come along. And the guys who run this observatory are brilliant. They, they've got some real good kit in there. It's all a bit beyond me, but come out here with the kids. They all love looking at stars. You can see planets as well. Mind blown for little kids. I know I keep focusing a lot on kids in this blog at the reserve but I, I do think you know all kids love nature and exploring and you've got to get them out there and do it and the adults will enjoy it too and people are always saying what can we do with Thanet with the kids honestly this is the place so my first exciting thing there's a buzzard right there if you can see that buzzards are really doing well at the moment they're everywhere especially with Manston being closed for so long and they're scavenging birds dominantly. They will take rabbits and things like that. And, and these have been out calling quite a lot. There was three yesterday. So that is a massive bird of prey. It's coming over now, look. It probably hasn't seen someone up here for quite a while. These chalk cliffs are an impressive sight. We've got a lot of chalk in planet. And there's lots of holes in these cliffs and you get lots of jackdaws in there. They're a black bird with a lovely, beautiful blue eye and a silver head and you'll see rabbits. And when you come here to the reserve, try and stick to the footpaths because off the footpath, they've got lots of special wildflowers here. Some of them you'll notice with little rabbit guards around them because there's rabbits here that try and eat those wildflowers. So do try and stick to the path. Well, fancy a cuppa? Right, now I'm in the Willet Educational Garden. And, and this is brilliant. Right now, of course, the reserve's been closed for quite a long time. It's gonna be closed probably until next year. But this is an uh, educational garden and I believe you can hire this out as well. It's called the Willet Educational Garden because I believe Willet was one of the people to own it, own this whole chalk quarry in the early 1900s. So it's a bit of a nod to them. This is a, a cabin they've got here. Just look how overgrown it is. And, and this cabin's brilliant. There's a guy called Alex and he's a falconer. And every Friday during school holidays, he brings his birds of prey down here. And they're magnificent. And they all sit in the shed and, and you can have a little look at them. And sometimes you can hold some of them, depending on the moods, uh, for a photo for a very small donation. And that is well worth a visit to come down and see Alex's birds. It's brilliant what he's doing. You'll notice dotted around some of these reptile mats and, and you often get things like um, slow worms maybe grass snakes, and recently there was an adder spotted here. Now, it's probably best to not lift them up unless you really know what you're doing, especially if there's an adder under there. Okay, so let's take you to the sky and have a little look at the reserve from above and tell you a bit about it. So, in 1942, during the early part of the war, Manston Aerodrome only had a grass runway, and the area was eventually levelled with chalk from the Moncton Chalk Pit. Then in 1953, chalk was once again used from here to repair a railway line between Minnis Bay and Reculver following a great storm. And then, as I said earlier, in 1958, chalk was used again to build the car parks and the working areas at the newly constructed Richborough Power Station. Then in 1974, the property fell into the hands of Kent County Council and it was basically a tip. But the magic thing really happened in 1977 when the Thanet Conservation Group uh, they gained planning permission to convert this quarry into a nature reserve. 
And so many people I tell about Monkton Nature Reserve say, oh, I've often driven past that and I've always wondered what's down there. And here we are today as we zoom out on a very well hidden gem in Thanet, Monkton Nature Reserve. So that was Monkton Nature Reserve. I really hope you enjoyed that little video and when it's open, get yourself down here and come for a little explore. Cheers.